I turned around and Hugh took a bunch of magnetic spheres and he just put them in my neck. I said, bro, I thought this was an after lunch thing. He said, this is the board member experience. Welcome. <laughs> I learned today and all the things that are clicking around in your head it seems like the possibilities are limitless it's the future of the human body it's, uh, it's where humanity's where we want to take it the way things are going now in a hundred years we won't be able to recognize humanity as, as humanity exists today um, and I hope there's an explosion of diversity and we stop having such narrow views of what intelligence is and what beauty is. He was able to control walking speed and also like going upstairs, downstairs. Oh my gosh. I'm just sitting back while having spent the entire day in MIT Media Lab, where the K. Lisa Yang Center for Bionics had its launch event, and boy, was it something to behold. Essentially, we're, we're developing fundamental interfaces between the biological body and synthetics to communicate with the nervous system by direction. For a prosthesis, that means you think and you can affect the motors in the prosthesis. With uh, more refined technique and more data collection, I think that we can get it with small joint manipulation, but we can do multiple joints at the same time. You can really only curl the fingers in and out or move the thumb. He, he doesn't have the ability to do all the, the oh, yeah, fine motions joints. we can, so that does make it a little bit more difficult. Kung Fu grip. Wouldn't it be great if you just broke my hand right now? <laughs> Yeah, I didn't like, didn't like that last movie you made. <laughs> what if we lived in a world where bionic technology were so advanced that every single person in the world could have the choice, the freedom to live without a, a disability, an experienced disability, if they so wish? Hugh and I had never met in person. It really felt good to see him in the flesh. Uh, we did a series called The Age of AI. Introductions were made and Hugh Her and I became friends. Eventually, he enlisted me to be part of the executive advisory board and we've been cranking along ever since. Uh, the deep minds are covered. I saw them all today. It is a cogent, clear, well-functioning, there's so much promise and there's a real plan here. If I could not pass up this opportunity to leverage and translate Hugh's work, his personal investment in the biomechatronics lab into a scalable impact on millions of lives. Lisa Yang really offered the strategic infusion of funding that centers like this require to be able to break through those technological glass ceilings. This launch is not going to project you into space, but it will touch a large swath of humanity. Yeah, the preparation really goes back to when I lost my biological legs in that storm. It's uh, all the thoughts and ideas and interactions and communities have coalesced to, to today. I began designing my own legs in an attempt to do what I love the most, and that was to return to the vertical world of rock and ice climbing. I not only returned to my chosen sport of mountain climbing, but I climbed at a more advanced level than I'd ever achieved. This experience taught me that technology has the power to heal, to rehabilitate. It's fascinating the level of dialogue you can have with someone with such a fantastical background who has met adversity head on and decided to make his success story available for everyone else to share in the benefits of his genius. Mm -hmm.